Today we're going to be showing how Estuary uses um, sensitive scopes to sync Google Sheets data on behalf of our customers. So we start off by going to the Estuary web page. You can click on the dashboard link to log in. I can then either log in using an email or with Google. Um, I'm going to just log in with Google quickly. That was not the scope that we're showing off. The, the place that we're actually going to um, show off the sensitive scopes that we're using for this app is coming up. So I'm going to click new capture, look for Google Sheets. And what clients use this for is to sync data um, to Google Sheets on their behalf, from Google Sheets to their data warehouse or something like that um, using our product. So let's call this Sheets. Okay, just random name because they have to be random um, in our product. So I have a Google Sheet link handy. I'm going to go to authentication. This is the actual um, authentication where we are showing um, our app. Um, so as you can see, I'm going to sign in with Google Sheets. Um, and we are going to choose an account. Uh, I'm going to uh, first show you that how this works. We need sensitive scopes here. And we I'm going to show you the client ID because that's part of this. So here's the client ID, which is being asked for here. Um, and that's the whole thing. Um, I'm going to use my Estuary Dev account. And you can see the sensitive scopes that we're asking for. There's two of them. See and download Google Drive files. See all your, your Google spreadsheets. I'm going to click Allow. And that is how we actually use sensitive scopes here. Um, what you can see I've just done is I've um, shown how the user logs into the app, grants access to the requested scopes. That was a two-step process. Um, and then um, from there, I enlarge the auth consent screen, including the client ID, and then show how app, the app uses those um, sensitive scopes. Um, so that's it. Let me know if you have any other questions.